Hello everyone and uh, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Juko Genesis Mayhem. I'm so happy to have you here again. Uh, actually, it has been long, but here I come. Thank you very much for those of you who have subscribed to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video of ours. Thank you very much for keeping it here. This is a great channel. It has so many things. It has health matters and all that. So just keep it here and enjoy the channel. So we're going to talk about HIV. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Juko Jesus. My name Tonight we're going to talk about uh, HIV and uh, how can you tell that you have HIV. HIV is a human immunodeficiency virus. This is a virus that attacks the body's immune system and if not treated, it can lead to AIDS and uh, AIDS is acquired immune deficiency syndrome. This currently has no effective cure. Once you get HIV, you have it for life. If you acquire HIV and uh, get proper medical care, HIV can be controlled. People with HIV and uh, management treatment can stay for long and protect their partners as well. So how did HIV come to human? HIV infection in human came from a uh, type of uh, chimpanzees in Central Africa. It is believed that HIV jumped from uh, chimpanzees to human as far back as late 1800. And the chimpanzee's version of the virus is called the Semian Immunodeficiency Virus. It was probably passed to human when human hunted the chimpanzees for meat and came in contact with their, their infected fresh blood. HIV so has spread it across all around the world. How can you tell if you have HIV? The only way you can know if you have HIV is to get tested. You cannot rely on symptoms to tell whether you have HIV. There are HIV rapid kit. This gives you results in just 10 minutes and are available on open market. Knowing your HIV status gives you powerful information so you can take steps to keep yourself and your partner healthy. If you get positive, you can take medicine to treat HIV. People with HIV who take HIV medicine called antiretroviral therapy or ART as prescribed and keep undetectable viral load and live long and healthy lives. If you test negative, we have more HIV prevention tools available these days than before, like uh, pre-exposure, prophylaxis, prep medicine. People at risk of uh, HIV take to prevent getting HIV from injection drug use, or in any way you can acquire it. And post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, HIV medicine taken within 72 hours after possible exposure to prevent the virus from taking hold. Basically, it can be more effective if PEP is taken within 24 hours. Generally, symptoms of HIV. There are several symptoms of HIV and uh, not everyone will have the same symptoms. It depends on the person and uh, what stage of the disease they are in. Stages of HIV. There is stage 1. Stage 1 acute HIV infection within 2 to 4 weeks after infection with HIV about two thirds of people will have a flu-like illness. This is the body's natural response to HIV infection. All right, flu-like symptoms are fever, chills, rash, night sweats, muscle pain, sore throat, fatigue, mouth ulcers. These symptoms can last anywhere from a few days to several weeks, but some people do not have any symptoms at all during this early stage of HIV. Don't live in a life of guessing that you have HIV. Some of these symptoms can happen even though you have other illnesses. But I always advise you to go for HIV tests, especially if you think you might have been exposed to HIV. So find an HIV testing site near you, get HIV tests. Request an HIV test for recent infection. There are other types of tests that can detect HIV sooner. Tell your doctor if you think you are recently exposed to HIV and uh, ask if there are tests that can detect early infection. You should be able to know your status after you get tested. Be sure to learn your test results. If you are HIV positive, see a healthcare provider as soon as possible so you can start treatment with HIV medicine and uh, be aware, when you are in the early stage of infection, you are at a very high risk of transmitting HIV to others. There is a stage called clinical latency. During this stage, the virus multiplies but at a very low level. People in this stage might not feel sick or have any symptom. Alright, thank you very much for keeping it here. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for following me, for following us. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you very much. Keep it up. 
give that thumbs up. We really appreciate you being here.